Hey, what's going on tech fans? Welcome back once again to the channel. I'm Elric and you're on Tech of Tomorrow. And what are we doing today? Well, today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new case from the people over at Corsair. What is this? Well, this is one of their Obsidian line. This is their 350D. Now, this is a micro ATX mini ITX case. And this thing's pretty much decked out. Even though it's a real small case, you get two 3.5 bays, two 2.5 bays. You can fit in all kinds of stuff for water cooling, 120, a 240, or a 140 or a 280 rad. All those different types of rads can fit in here. It comes equipped with a couple of fans, but there's actually five fans that can be totally installed. So basically this is a really small case geared for the gamer. It can also take multiple video cards. You can do SLI or Crossfire, all that stuff inside of this little tiny case. So with that said, let's get it out of the box and let's take a closer look at the product. All right, folks, so now we've got the case out of the box. I know that's silly just taking out of the box crap. You guys don't really need to see that. What's the big deal of that? So let's start it here on the bottom. You see you have the Corsair logo. We'll move our way up. We have two bays right here. It's for your hard drives or whatever. Up here on top, we have our headphone, microphone. We have also right here our start button. Two USB 3.0 ports. And then as we move down, this thing right here actually pops off. So you push the little button right here and the entire front panel comes off. There's two little slots right here. And you can also see on the back of this thing right here, there are two little slots that you just put and mount in there. So it's very easy to take on and off. You can see there's a filter back behind here. It's also totally removable. A fan right inside. So I'll just go ahead and Put the thing back together. Go ahead and take the little screen here, pop it in, pop it in. Take the two little notch things right here. Go ahead and notch those in. They make a little clicking sound, they notch in down there. And then it's easily just pops in just like that. So let's move along. Let's go to the side of the case. The side of the case, see there's a window, We've got a nice clear window here for those custom modders and people who actually want to jump inside the case and check their stuff out and be able to see it. You'll be able to do it all in there. On the back, I'm just going to go to the back real quick because we're going to be starting to take things apart. Let's just take a look in the back right here. You see right here, in the back of the case, you have three holes right here. These are all for different types of liquid cooling. So if you had a reservoir mounted on the outside or whatever, you could have your tubes coming through there. You also have an additional fan right here. You have five expansion slots, one, two, three, four, five, power supply. Now the other side, it's just simple, straight black wall. Let's flip it around and take a look at the top. On the top, you can see right here, plenty of room for radiator, either inside or out, depending on how you want to build it. I'm going to go ahead and flip it around and show you guys the bottom of the case as well before we get inside of it. So. Let's take a look at the bottom. We also have another removable filter right here on the bottom. Actually, it pops out to the, to the bottom down here. So you can remove that and keep everything clean. So if you're sucking air into your case, you won't get all that dust and stuff inside of your case. Now let's go ahead and go inside of it. So just spin it around here for you folks. Um, everything's toolless. So I'm going to just go ahead and remove these by my hands. As you guys can see, I've really had no problems at all. Some of these are so tight sometimes that when I go to get them, I can't take them off. It's because of the machinery that they use a lot of times in China to put things on. So let's go ahead and we'll pop this side off. Go ahead and pop the other side off. And then let's go around the back first and let's take a look at like cable management. So back here behind the case, plenty of room back here for cable management. There are pieces up inside of up here to route your cables through. Additionally, down here, we see those same things. So you guys can pretty much see that back here for cable management, you're going to have a lot of room inside the small case for hiding all your cables if that's your thing. So if you're one of those people you want a totally clean build, you're going to have that availability with the Obsidian 350D. It's got plenty of room back here and you have plenty of room to access your CPU from the rear as well. So you don't need any removable motherboard tray. So let's flip it around. Here you guys can see you have room right here for your drives. Also have inside of here a little box. Let's see what's in the little box. Let's 
So in the little box is all of the additional mounting hardware. You guys can see that all right there. Inside of a little box marked Corsair. So all those little goodies right there. Drive bay is removable. Now up here on top, with the camera to zoom back up into this area, you can see you've got two more bays up here on top. Now let's take a look at some of the cabling. Right here we see the 3.0 connector. This is for those front 3.0 USB connectors that we saw. Like I said before, you guys can see all of the cable management stuff is still available here. You also have some additional 2.5 bays right up here. So you got plenty of room inside this little tiny case to put either a micro ATX or mini ITX motherboard. That's what this thing is totally built for. It's pretty lightweight. It's got a window. All kinds of great features for $104. All right, guys. So there you have it. The new Corsair 350D Obsidian. Now, this thing's small, but you can see it's got plenty of room inside of it to do whatever you need to be. So if you're a gamer looking for something lightweight, you want to take it on the road, this thing's pretty portable. Or if you're somebody who has a lot of space that you don't want to take up, which I mean by that is that you don't have a lot of space actually, and you want something very small to fit into that small space, this could be the case that you're looking for. It actually has really no negatives that I can actually see from looking at it. I would say just from my unboxing and overview that, that for this type of case, it's definitely an editor's choice product. It's got plenty of room for cable management, plenty of room inside for doing, you know, SLI or Crossfire nobody really needs you know four cards unless you're some crazy person trying to show off two cards is like more than enough for anybody so at the end of the day i gotta say the obsidian 350d awesome case if you guys like this case make sure you guys hit that like button show them that you like this case i'm elric we'll see you back here on tech tomorrow and if you're not subscribed hey man make sure you do so so you don't miss out on any of the cool stuff going in on the channel